Dear friends, today's video is PPC and today I will talk about the power supply. Few days ago, I found that and this CPU power supply has damage and after that I brought a new power supply from the local market and today I will explain that the, about this power supply. This power supply will be able to run this motherboard or not. Today I will discuss about this and how is the rating of this power supply and what is the difference the both original and local market power supply. Okay. Before I discuss about the power supply and I want to show you the what is the model of this desktop PC. This piece most model is you can see here and SP desktop pro PCI MT. So today I will install this power supply. Before I installing this and I have to check this the rating. Uh, this power supply voltage rating is and AC input is 100 and 220 and is 3.2 ampere and output voltage is and 12 and 1 volt maximum power cell not exist 180 watt. Let's see the our local power supply and this one also here and here is also showing and this power supply AC input voltage also and 100 and 220 and output voltage is 12 and 16 ampere. It will be uh, 190 watt and here is also maximum power cell not exist 250 watt and th th that is the difference of the both power supply and today I will use this power supply. It power supply can be run this this motherboard i will check this okay let's start installing this new power supply i want to share this something about this motherboard and this motherboard model is cyb 5342 and here is a ddr4 ram also and this is a ddr4 4 gb ram this is the cpu and this cpu is clean this Our processor is perfectly clean and let's set up this. Here is some difference also and you can see the P2 connector and here is 3 coil and here is a 2007 coil. Okay. But I also check this and this power supply mess with this motherboard or not. And this is our processor power. This one is the hard disk or other part of the motherboard. Okay, let's connect this. Here is also P2 connector. Our motherboard connector is complete. Connect the cooler. Let's power up this motherboard and let's see. And this motherboard turn on or not. After that, I will check the display. Like in the AC power. Turn on the power. You can see here is a green light is clone of the motherboard. This is the power switch. Power is turning on and processor cooling fan is spinning. You can see. And processor also heating. Let's check the display. Okay, our monitor is here and I am connecting the HDMI cable with the motherboard. Connect it. And let's turn on the motherboard. Press the power button. Motherboard is turn on. And this will also come. Here is a keyboard error. I did not connect it any keyboard with this motherboard. Okay. Let's fit in this and after that check this. What happened with this power supply? And I made a mistake and I use this I set up this power supply opposite side and but you have to carefully set up when you set up this and this jack connector will be this connector will be connected with this jack.
but it's turning on now and this will also come on the monitor okay our windows is starting and here is no error and you can see here okay viewers our work is done and thanks for watching and i have check this and this is our old power supply and this is our damage and old power supply and i installed a new power supply and it's working as well as good no problem here okay thanks for watching